Even though Jest is mainly used for unit testing, we can also do snapshot testing with it. So, for this lesson's project, you'll need a basic app with the Jest unit testing package installed. For our examples, we've created a component called Hello World in source slash components. Inside it, we have a heading with the text, Hello World. We've also created an instance of Hello World in the root app component. For the tests, we'll use the example test file in tests slash unit slash example dot spec. A snapshot test compares two images of an application. You can think of it as a game of spot the difference. If Jest finds any differences between the images, it'll consider the test a failure. As we mentioned earlier, Jest is primarily a unit testing library, but it can also handle snapshot testing. We'll be using Jest to write our snapshot tests because it helps with one of the main problems with such testing. Different browsers and window sizes may cause images to generate differently each time, even if the application hasn't changed at all. This can cause the test to fail where it should actually pass. Jest solves the problem by serializing the application. Basically, it converts the application to a string and compares the two strings instead of two images. When we run a snapshot test, the first thing Jest will do is check if a snapshot exists. If a snapshot doesn't exist, it'll generate the serialized string and automatically pass the test. But, if a snapshot does exist, Jest will compare the new string to the latest older one and either pass the test or fail it. It's a good idea to always run a snapshot test more than once. It should pass multiple times if we haven't changed the application or the test. We should also try to limit the number of tests per component to as few as possible because they're highly susceptible to failure. Typically, one snapshot test per component is all we need. With unit testing, we mount a component to the DOM, then use an assertion to check that something inside it matches something else inside it. With a snapshot test, we also mount the component. But, because a snapshot test requires an element as the input, the assertion uses the root DOM element in the component. Then, we chain the to match snapshot method to it for the actual test. The to match snapshot method will generate a snapshot based on the input in the expect method and compare it to an existing snapshot. If an existing snapshot doesn't exist, it'll create a file with the serialized string. As an example, let's create a snapshot test to see if the hello world components output, meaning the template, renders correctly. Because we're using Jest, we can use the same command as the unit tests to run the snapshot test. The test will automatically pass because it's the first time we're running it. If we take a look in the Editor's Explorer pane, we'll see a new file in tests slash unit slash snapshots directory. This is the serialized string that will be compared to the next generated snapshot when we run the test a second time. As a quick tip, if you're using VS Code as your editor, you can install the official Jest plugin for syntax highlighting in .snap files. It also comes with additional features that make working with snapshots easier. We'll leave a link to its page in the marketplace in the description below. Now, if we run the test a second time without changing anything in the test or the component, it'll pass like we expect. Jest didn't rewrite the snapshot, it just compared a newly generated one to the first. If we need to make a legitimate change to our file, we'll need to update the snapshot to reflect that change. To do that, we'll need to add the update flag to our testing script in the package.json file. We don't want to override the original script, we just want to copy it and add dash u to the end. We'll also change the command that runs the script to be test colon unit colon update. Running the command will update the snapshot after we've made changes to the component. As an example, let's change the text in the hello world component. Then, we'll run the normal test command. Because the text is different, the test will fail. 
Jest will show us a diff of why it failed, making it easy to identify the problem. If we open the snapshot, we can see it still contains the word world, instead of the new one we changed it to. So let's update the snapshot with the update command. If we look at the generated snapshot file again, the change we made to the component will be in the string. And now, if we run the normal test command, the test passes again. We should always try to test the real output of our components in snapshot tests. That said, it's possible to use locally defined data, also known as mocked data, in a snapshot test. As an example, let's change our hello world component to define a prop called message and output its contents instead of the static text. In the root app component, we'll add the prop and a string. But, in the test, we'll define a different string and pass it to the mounted components props option. We'll have to run the update command first to ensure the snapshot reflects the changes. Notice that the snapshot uses the mocked data instead of the real string that we defined in the root app component. If we run the normal test command, it passes. In the next video, we'll learn how to test our application by simulating the steps a user would take in a browser with end-to-end -end testing. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.